Hey guys, welcome to my channel Success Sequence where we deal and analyze Nifty and Bank Nifty's important move and expected level for the next day. So as you can see, uh, as suggested in my previous video, you can see that the market was uh, ranging between the two particular broad moving averages which is uh, 55 days and 89 days exponential moving average. So what it is suggesting that the, till the time uh, the market is stuck between this particular two moving averages we are not going to see any sort of significant move and whatever the uh, price action will be there will remain between these two particular level which is as of now 10,186 and 10,074. So the market will see or market will take a particular direction uh, if and only if it breaks this particular level so if it breaks 10,074 it can go down or if it breaks on a higher side 10,186 it can go up now let us try and find out what way market should go or what the market participants are expecting or how to analyze the market for the days to come so to begin with let us first look at the option data and try and get the sense of what the market participants are up to so if you observe the uh, call data you can see that the market participants are expecting a stable to bullish move in the uh, days to come because what i can see is a fresh creation of bullish position at a high level as well however a one particular strike price 10450 uh, is uh, uh, is a level where I can see just some sort of call writing has happened. So to be on a safe side, what you can expect is uh, market may uh, go until the 10,450 level and not higher than that. So uh, to conservative analyze what the market participants uh, are expecting uh, from today's data, you can see a uh, up move. You can expect it stable to bullish kind of move, but capped at 10,450 level. So that was the analysis from the call chart data and if you now look at the put data what you can see is 9900 to 10200 are the strike prices in which a put writing has happened so whenever you see a put writing it suggests a stable to bullish kind of move on a higher side 10250 to 10500 uh, you can see that the put long has uh, started covering so put long is getting covered so if you are holding a put option what you want to you what you want is market to go down now when you start covering your put option what you want is that the, now you are not expecting any bearish move to come so it suggests um, uh, expectation of bullish move so it's anticipation of bullish move uh, the put participants have covered their position but what you really want is a put writing at a high level like 10,250 to 10,500 strike prices whenever they uh, whenever they will uh, start to form a put writing sort of position this will suggest that the market participants are now expecting a stable to bullish kind of move in a days to come so if you see and if you try and correlate the call and put chart data uh, of today what you can see almost they are in sync uh, 10200 is a good support if the if at all market trades on a higher side and market participants are expecting a some sort of up move and 10200 uh, because we have seen a sort of put writing uh, should come so that's what the what we can un, uh, so that's what we can infer from the option chart data and the option activity range as i suggested is 9900 to 10500 so 250 points on downside and 350 point on higher side now and let us try and understand what the technical indicators are suggesting and why not only the option chart data but the technical technical indicators are also suggesting that that uh, for the short term uh, we can see some sort of up move and short term bottom is in place now so first thing let us see the candlestick pattern so as you can see uh, previously market took support at as exactly around this particular level and then you can see uh, there was a bullish candle on the next day so now if you see there is a so sort of support at this particular level and the prices did get rejected on a lower level so whenever you see a tail sort of uh, 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 image or a formation on a lower level it suggests that the close could have been much lower but since there was some sort of buying the close shifted on a higher side and thus forming this uh, line or tail whatever you want to say it so uh, if you see there is a bottom and uh, I mean there is a support uh, which earlier uh, worked as an eye support and uh, after considering this support only we got this uh, candle and then market saw a good up move till 10,400 so now you can see there is a support because the market did not reach that particular level which would have 
have been uh, which could have been broken but market uh, respected that particular level so now what you can expect is a uh, good sort of up move if the market would like to repeat itself and thus breaking the 55 days exponential moving on average on a higher side and then we can expect that the market will trade for the rest of the period on a higher side only as far as this month is concerned so there is one indication i am getting just by broadly looking at the previous support that market is holding up and not, not only that uh, here you can see also that this is a good zone for the market so here you can see once the market closed above this particular level as you can see here then market did saw some sort of good opening came back again it, uh, it did receive a support here as you can see and then went nicely up so i think this should act as a good support for the market as of now not only that there are other reasons as well which is suggesting that this should be the bottom for the market now so let us take the macd so macd is also suggesting that uh, this particular level uh, or these particular figures like uh, where the macd is trading right now is a lower level for the uh, market now and uh, now we can see a bullish crossover getting form in the days to come so here you can see uh, market did take a good support here now you can see here the market did take a good support and these are the broadly at this level only now the macd is trading so if the market opens on a higher side this will be in line with our pre previous candlestick behavior and macd will also uh, sort of in a support zone so it it is most likely that we can see a bullish crossover tomorrow further if you see rsi rsi is also in sort of support zone so here you can see there is a good support here also you can see the good support and in, if you extend this line it comes to here it worked as a good support market got up now you can see some sort of uptick getting uh, formed so if you see so now this will act also act as a good support and this will take market on a higher side rather than lower side further you can see that though the market is going down the cci is now going up so what it is suggesting that the negative zone is getting eliminated and cci is trying to uh, come on a positive zone further the most important thing the volatility volatility is stalling at a high level so uh, if you have seen my previous video i must i have been mentioning it for a quite a time now that uh going uh, that uh, reducing volatility and a higher move goes very nicely so if you can see the volatility is also stalling at a higher level so if it goes down below this particular uh, is 55 years exponential moving average you can see some sort of good move so there are various technical reasons and the actual position that market participants have created today what we have observed from option chart data is suggesting that the market is most likely to trade on a higher side and accordingly you can uh, watch your position or can make your position but let me tell you uh, another important thing if market should uh, if market opens a gap up it need to close above a 34 days exponential moving average or if you see some if you see some sort of rejection on a higher side that will be again be a cautious sort of signal for us because the market need to uh, stay in that particular range the the less candle it takes to uh, break out of its uh, this particular zone or break is 34 days exponential moving average the better it is so i hope what i am trying to suggest you are getting that now that was my analysis for the nifty and i have shown you the various reasons why i feel that the short term market uh, short term bottom for the market uh, is in place now now let us check the bank nifty and see what the bank nifty is trying to tell us so uh, if we if we have a look at the option option data for the bank nifty what we can see is uh, 25,000, 24,500 to 26,000 kind of broad activity range we can see, so which is very high because it's suggesting very down move. So we should ignore that. But let us uh, try and focus at what the market participants are expecting by their position. So what I can see uh, at a call data, I can see a good amount of call rating getting aggressive uh, uh, with uh, moving on a higher side from spot to higher uh, on a higher side as we move. The call rating is getting aggressive till 25,600. So market participants are expecting a stable to bearish move, and all the particular strike prices or the activity zone like 24,500 to 26,000 has seen a good amount of call rating. So it is all in all suggesting that the market participants are expecting a stable to bearish kind of move. But if you come to put side. 
what you can see is 24500 to 25100 is sort of support zone so 25100 will act as a label i mean market participants are expecting that the market or bank nifty should trade about 25100 and below that there is a good sort of support so market participants are seeing 25100 as a good support so what you can do is if the market or bank nifty trades on a higher side above 25100 and if you see 25100 uh, strike price getting further uh, addition of put writing position you should hold your hold on to your position because the market is not going down further because there has been a put writing happening on a lower side the more put writing happens the better it will be on a higher side what i can see is again the put long is getting covered so 25200 to 26000 i can see a good sort of put long covering has happening so again the day, uh, it is suggesting that the market participants are done with their and now expecting a stable to bullish kind of move now what is the problem here a uh, problem here is what at a call uh, price at a call chart data is suggesting a call writing and the put data is suggesting a put writing till 25100 and a bullish move from 25200 or 26000 so the call chart data is not in sync because both the option data are suggesting a stable to bearish kind of move uh, on a call side and on a put side we can see a bull bullish version so call participants are expecting a bearish move stable to bearish move and put participants are expecting a stable to bullish move so which is not in line with our analysis and that that is why we should not create any position till the time we get a good sort of position in the in the both the nifty and bank nifty side so if you see a good position like bank nifty is also suggesting a move put uh, a bank nifty is also suggesting up move nifty is also suggesting up move that is a good chance that the both the index indexes will trade on the higher side but here nifty is suggesting an up move but bank nifty is not following up that's the problem here now let us try and check what the other indicators are suggesting so if you see the macd is already trading at a lower level however uh, there was a support now it also got broken there is a support here if you see but not strong enough so it is we should not consider that the rsi support is there but uh, it is also not very much good uh, cci however is suggesting some sort of uptick so that we can consider volatility is already in a down zone so that is not an issue for us so bank nifty we do not have any clear cut analysis so that's the only reason we have uh, we should not be not uh, we should not take a particular trade in the nifty and bank nifty and since i am very conservative option trader uh, i have not created any position as of now but uh, what was the expectation as per the option chart data and candlestick analysis and the various technical indicators i will explain to you uh, the same so i hope the information will be uh, will be of some use to uh, uh, some value to you and uh, i hope you have uh, must have learned something new so if you want me to make more of such video please help me by subscribing to my channel uh, and if you want you can also share it to your whatsapp group and the person or your friends to whom uh, you feel have a inclination for technical analysis so that's it for the today's video guys if you have any query comment or any any sort of doubt you can always mention it in the comment section of the video thank you guys